Okay, well, after dying on the um, on the third level in the in the weekend seed contest here, I think I'll just do another run um, just to kind of see if we can go a little better. So we'll do a new game and uh, just escape here, and I'll show the seed for this one. And uh, yeah, okay, away we go. Um, all right, a few guys here. Those guys don't look too bad. Fight these guys in the hallway, I guess. That's kind of a kind of a big pack for for the first level there. Um, but that's fine. Okay, Chasm can't go anywhere from here. And those are the stairs, so we'll eventually need to get ourselves over there. Let's go do this other side of the level first. Yeah, you can see uh, how fast those jackals move. I think they get like two turns for every turn that you get. Uh, we can probably take this guy out quick here. Yeah, you can't attack diagonally in Brogue around corners, it seems like. Um, okay, so some potions. Um, okay. So this is kind of like a swamp area here. Another scroll, another jackal. Okay. All right, let's head out. Um, yeah, it might have been wise to search up there, actually, but that's okay. We can. We haven't gotten too far behind in time or anything yet, so we can uh, backtrack if we need to. In fact, this looks fine. Oh, good. Actually, a good weapon. Okay, so we need to hang on to that and see if we can um, find enough enchants to eventually do something with that. If we live long enough beyond, hopefully, the third floor, if you watched the previous one. Um, oops. All right. Uh, let's just kind of figure out if there's anything worth having up here. I've never seen the grass in the water. I wonder what that was about. Okay. All right, I don't think there's anything down here. Rats should be no problem. Those guys are no problem. We'll go up here, and then I guess we can just kind of come down and head out. Okay, let's pick up these, uh, these consumables. So... Yeah, I've played several games recently where I've had a, I've had um, like a bunch of enchant scrolls, but nothing to really like enchant yet. So I've kind of found myself in this. Um, I think we have everything here, right? Yeah, I think so, and we don't need to heal. All right, actually, maybe I'll do a little test quaffing. Um, wonder if there's a good room for that where I could get to some water if I'm on fire. Yeah. Okay. So let's just do a little, a couple potion uh, quaffs here just to get them out of the way. And we can heal down there too if we have to. So this is how I died in the previous, uh, in my previous run here. So we'll see. E. Okay, so this is fine. This is why I always try to do that. Um, I try to uh, quaff potions behind doors because that creeping death can kind of like take over the whole level, which is pretty irritating. I've never ascended actually. So I guess it's kind of irrelevant. Uh, it's kind of irrelevant. Um, that I won't have to, because I probably won't end up coming back here. But anyway, um, and then I should, I'm pretty close to full health. I think I want to quaff another potion just to kind of get started. Okay, levitation is fine. Let's push our luck and do one more. Um, okay, so that must have been strength, strength. So, okay, not too bad. And then as far as scrolls, I think it's usually better to wait. Um, whenever I see two scrolls, um, in the early game, I usually think that's enchant, which it usually is. So I'm going to call those enchant. Um, and then we'll see if that's what they were. Um, so I do have that war axe, which is a, a 19 and I'm only at strength 13. So it's going to take a while to kind of get that weapon again. And plus we want to get some armor too. So, and this is only level two, so we're, we're doing pretty well. Probably didn't need to go and kill that guy, but Anyway, okay, got some grass here. Watch out for those packs of jackals here. Oh, monkey. All right, well, that's what the darts are for. Okay, got him. Okay, yeah, I mean, opinions vary, it seems like, on whether or not you should just test ID like rings and stuff. They can also be cursed, which can kind of suck. Uh, one thing I was trying to do is like as soon as I see the stairs, I like to just pop down um, if I can. Just okay. Um, should we? We should be okay in this thing because usually you just need to kill this guy and then his stupid things will go away. Okay, so that was fine. That's another good way to die <laughs> early on. And there's a bloat. I think we're gonna go the dart method on this guy. 
All right. And here's another stupid monkey. Okay. All right. He stole my unidentified ring. That's fine. All right. And let's see. There's some more potions to take care of. And a scroll. Okay, it looks like I still need to get over to the other side thing here. So we'll do that. And there's a scroll in there somehow I need to get to, which looks like it comes over this way. So, so far so good anyway. Oh, again. I, I could have done a better job against that monkey. Let's see. I should also start just looking in the inventory to see what they actually stole. All right, so let's see what actually happened there. Um, the dart killed the monkey. Okay, so I did kill him. I've used up most of my darts now, though, but that's okay. Everything is going to be fine. Okay, let's go through and pick this up and then go back and deal with the rest of these monkeys here. Let's just see where we're at. Um, okay, so we got a pretty decent amount of potions here. And yeah, so we'll clear this off and, and then I think once we get it kind of safe, we'll do a little more testing, a little more potion testing. Okay, I guess we'll just start hitting this guy. That's funny, that guy didn't run away. Uh, he, I guess he didn't have a chance to grab anything, which I think they just run as soon as they get... Okay, well this guy's going to probably run. All right. There's a lot of monkeys on this level. It's kind of kind of irritating. Okay, I think this is all we want to do here. Um, and then let's just auto travel to these downstairs, but we'll stop before we get there. All right. So as far um, as far as the potions go, we already um, figured out creeping death, which is kind of the main one I wanted to, you know, do in a room or whatever. So if we do hit incineration or one of the poison gases, we can just escape downstairs. So I think we'll be okay. And health is decent. So uh, let's J. Oh, okay, detect magic inventory. Okay, so we know these other ones are bad. So good. I guess we'll just quaff the other one. And apply potion of life. Okay. So two bad potions, and then that war that war axe seems to have a negative enchantment, which which is a bummer because well we'll hang on to it and see what happens. But sometimes they can have like bad runics on them that um, that wouldn't be a lot of fun. So let's see. I think maybe we can throw ID some of these potions, but we may want to just save those for um, like if we actually are fighting a. Some guys like like now, for example, let's throw. Okay, there's nothing bad is going to happen if it's so. I'll throw L. Okay, I'm not on fire, I don't think. Okay, so that's a good one to ID without without burning yourself up. Okay, and there's a vault on this level as well. Okay, so we can head up here now. These guys are just waiting for the fire to go out, and so am I. Come on, step in one at a time, guys. Okay, maybe just wait. Okay, now. Okay, am I on fire or something? I don't have the best health here. I think I may even take a little bit of a rest here. Let's just, okay, yeah, I think we're actually okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought. Okay, let's hope for no eels here. Okay, I think... Um, all right, I wonder if we want to just throw another potion here and back out, and then we can kind of do... I don't want to explode that other... Oh, especially because that's a potion of strength. Okay, now let's just look at... Um, okay, hold on a second here. Let's do the stealth thing. Okay, so both these guys... The monkey is sleeping and the goblin has seen me. Maybe I could just... All right. Stupid monkey. Okay, well, that went pretty well. Turn the stealth range off. Another ring... Um, and then let's back up. Yeah, so it, um, to get that key, oh, it looks like we can walk there in the shallow water. So I'm not sure. Usually those keys are like traps. I kind of want to throw that other potion. OK, 
Okay, I'm big on I'm big on identifying the objects here. So let's try this. Okay, caustic gas. As long as it doesn't get me. Okay, so that door key is in the deep water. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just have to wait out. Uh, this has kind of been a good. It was nice to find that detect magic actually because that helped to uh, know that I shouldn't be. Oh yeah, and then let's apply that potion of strength. And then we still have that. Oh, there's some food too. All right, this is looking good. All right, hopefully no eels here because I probably can't handle those guys too well here. Okay, um, let's go up here and just do pop our heads down here. Uh, so that's four, so that's fine. All right. Um, yeah, let's kind of clear things out over here. Don't really need those just at the moment. Okay, empty room. All right, so I wonder if there's just do a little search here. I think there aren't that many hidden doors on like the first few levels, so we'll see. I find the vault room, which must be down over here. Rat. Oh, there you saw me, I think. Okay, um, and then health is okay. And then, oh, detect magic. That's good. Okay, potion detect magic. All right, let's see. All the scrolls we found are good, which is which is I guess good. Oh, and then that ring identifies is good too. So let's let's equip that. Apply. Oops. So it's E for equip. G. All right, now there's some inventory. G. What's going on here? Okay, so plus one ring, fine. Um, and then I did get that detect magic potion, right? Oh, a rapier, perfect. I almost want to. It kind of it's unfortunate to to wield a uh, um. I wonder what's going to happen. Is this going to like burst forth with eels or something if I if I grab that key? I've actually never seen one like this before. Um, so this could be this could be um, death here coming pretty quick. So did we discover levitation? Because maybe you're supposed to levitate or something to do that. Yeah, we discovered it already, and we don't have any at the moment. All right, so well, there's different ways to do this. I guess we can just grab grab the key and hope for the best. Um, there's like three different ways we could escape if something terrible happens. Oh. That's interesting. Gas vents. So let's search these out. Okay, I bet when we pick up that key, um, that gas vent is going to go. Um, but that's okay, because I think we can just swim. We can just like swim across, I guess. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. All your stuff falls out when you swim in the deep water, but nothing like corrodes or anything, so it's actually not that bad. Okay, so that stuff will all wash up somewhere. Yeah, in fact, there we can just go grab that already. And then my, um, I think there would have been a message for what that was, but we'll figure it out. All right, by the time we go to the vault and come back, that thing will have settled somewhere where we can go, go nag it, snag it. Okay, this is tedious, but I think we can use the mouse for this part. Yeah, I don't care about cool. Fine. Okay. 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 A rat. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes this auto travel. It kind of. Oh my gosh! A ton of rats, huh? So what? What happened to give us all those rats? I might have to swim again. I was playing. I think it was. Was it the last weekend seed where there was a um, like a gigantic room full of rats? Um. Let's see, uh, did these guys even see me? No, in fact, I think we need to take advantage of that. Okay, so this is this is definitely the part of the game that I have the most trouble with. Um, the tactics of like how to survive and stuff, I guess I'm not great at that either, but kind of deciding what's important. Um, okay, so there's another War Axe, which I think we might want. So that's 19... Uh, and then there's a banded mail. Yeah, banded mail's okay. Um, 
Okay, I think, okay, the Wands of Empowerment are really powerful too, though. Um, so, yeah, I basically, anytime I come into a vault, I always think, like, basically that I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I think people will tell you that, like, the Wand of the wand of Empowerment is, 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 like, one of the most powerful items in the game. Um, so that's, that's an option. Um, that requires having an ally in the first place, which we obviously don't have. I think I'm actually going to take either the teleportation charm or the, uh, or the war axe. Um, I think like a good player would tell you that, that the war axe and getting a good weapon is kind of the priority, but what, uh, basically what ends up happening to me is I usually die, um, <laughs> before any of that would ever matter. So here's a bunch of wandering rats. Okay, I think we, the rats are not too bad, especially if we just take them on one by one. Okay, and there's a ton of them on this level, so... Yeah, these guys haven't seen me yet. I like this stealth... Um, I wonder if I can... Is there anything I can throw over there? Orax, ring... So yeah, and I have this teleportation charm too, so I can just... Um, and I could have a little bit of a swim too if things um, become worse. Well, let's see if we can't draw some of these guys over to me. Or just run away. I guess that's also an option. These guys have kind of a funny AI. I wonder what they're, where they're going. Well, I guess maybe just nah, don't worry about it. Oh, and that very convenient right by the down... Oh, those are the upstairs. So what was that? You remember seeing a weapon here? Let me see what that might have been. Seven darts. Oh, you know what? That's the rapier. I think we might want to go get that, especially if we can avoid these rats who are, who are like, over down in the right there. Okay, so that's the downstairs. We're, we've already been down there. So, all right, let's go grab that rapier because we may well want to use that for a while. Okay, now we got to go back in the water. So we've been lucky with eels so far, or lack of eels. Oh, what am I doing? Duh. Okay. So let's get uh, wading through the water. There's the rats again. Yeah, those guys are just kind of wandering around in a little gang. I don't know, and they're hanging out with those goblins. I wonder, wonder why. But I, I'm just leaving that stealth range on now because, yeah, they're all down there. Oh, Sue, so this is bad. Yeah, they're all going to come through. i got to get to a doorway pronto here. Oh, a jelly. Well, I have a teleportation charm. And I'm hungry. Okay, this is actually going surprisingly well. I've got that plus one ring. I wonder if that's sort of helping me a bit. Okay, I need to eat as well, so apply A. Okay, so let's soak up a little uh, healing. I think we can turn that stealth off for now. Okay, well, that was a good opportunity to have died there, but uh, but basically lived, so so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, at least I remembered to like fall back to the door and stuff. Okay, there's a toad. I'm not worried about the hallucination here because it wears off pretty quick, and I remember what that was, so... All right, this one's taking a little longer than usual. Um, I might have got I might have got hit twice there. I think it's 20 turns per per pop there, but it's okay. What I really don't like are the acid mounts. And there's another toad. Let's just go and look down here. Okay. So four... So we're at 14... I'm going to wait until I pick up some other stuff before I pop that Detect Magic. Um, shoot, or I could do it now so that I can um, uh, know whether I can wield that Rapier safely or not. I think, so if I do Inventory O, oh, this is cool because you can attack. Um, it's slightly less damage. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's comparable damage to a Dagger, but you can um, attack like more than once per turn. So I think, I guess you would attack at the same speed as the jackals in that case. So we're good on health. Um, 
Um, yeah, when when to use the items. I don't know. Maybe we can pick up like a couple more potions or something and then pop that. Okay, so maybe I'll soften this guy up here. I think we killed like every possible monkey on the uh, on the previous level here. Okay, so I don't think this guy's going to make me hallucinate as bad. Yeah, okay, and he's a, become a dragon. Anyway, yeah, this is a faster one. I think I got hit like two or three times last time, so... Yeah, man, in Brogue, you got to kind of keep moving even when you're uh, low on health. It's oh, an eel. Okay, how are we going to do this? We have a teleport charm, so we can get out of here. Um, so we can try and fight this guy. We don't... Eels are nasty, actually. Let's see what it's saying. So, yeah, I mean, the the, uh, the numbers are in his favor here, in the eel's favor. So um, I'm thinking... Oh, he's fleeing, though, which is weird. But maybe he just moves erratically. Let's try. You miss the eel, the eel misses you. The eel shocks you. Okay, I think I can do one more hit, and if things aren't going my way, I need to teleport, I think. Or actually, I could try running away. Except there's just water in every direction. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that was deep water. Okay. Okay, well... That went okay, or it went okay for a second. All right, we're looking at needing to do a teleport here. Um, so we're just at about 20 minutes on the video here. I think I'll play a little bit more and try not to die. Um, so inventory G, if that ring is anything. Okay, so there's an eel in here somewhere, which is not so good. And then this is a goblin conjurer. These guys aren't too bad, but then with the... Yeah, actually, let's just use our items so we don't even so we don't even have to mess around with it. Oh, interesting. This guy hasn't seen me, I don't think. Yeah, wandering. Let's just go over here. All right, see ya. Let's try to stay out of the watery depths there for now until we heal back up. And then, it's, okay, so, so how does that teleportation charm? Yeah, that might be a good one to enchant, especially... Shoot here. All right, I could have well died there, actually. Um, I'm going to actually rest a little bit, even though it's kind of not a good idea. Um, I think it's capital Z. Whoa. Oh, that was way longer than I wanted to. I need to be able to rest for like 10 turns or something. Okay, Goblin Conjurer and a Jelly. I think that's okay. And yeah, so let's see. He won't have seen me, I don't think. Escape. Yeah, so he's still out of my... And I, there's basically nowhere else I, have to, I can go. I need to go back through there. So, um, And hopefully the downstairs aren't in that whole eel-infested swamp I had to go into already. Um, so we could... I think it's better to fight those goblin conjurers in, um, like in a room so you can get up next to them and hit them. And then as far as the jellies are concerned... Maybe I'll use that detect magic and then I can see if I can wield that rapier. Um, I'll be at a minus one strength. Uh, I'll be at sort of a strength disadvantage with it, but I think that's actually not that bad. So, detect magic. Hmm, maybe I'll wait on that. I've got pretty full health, actually, so as long as that jelly doesn't come in here, too, then I think... So let's see if this guy... Maybe he just is going to head out of here. Uh, see, this is a good chance to take him on directly. Okay, so that wasn't bad at all. Now I just have a jelly, which I don't think is going to be too bad, especially if I can get him in the hallway here. Okay, this looks like it's okay. These guys all have pretty low health. Okay, not bad. Um, and my health is not bad. So, yeah, well, I haven't screwed this one up yet. Um... And we're at about 25 minutes, so I think I'll just um, I'll just stop it here, and we can pick it up um, in the next video. So, yeah, thanks for watching.